Clearly, in terms of the, the preparations ahead of this game, a little bit of a distraction. Everything that's gone on with George, whatever kind of level it's got to, the, the speculation has been there. Is he all good to go, though, for the weekend? What I've got is a motivated Yorkshireman, <laughs> ready to um, let him loose at Port Vale. You know, it's, it's happened. It's nearly happened. It's nearly happened again, um, starting probably from Tuesday onwards, where he trained with us, part trained with us. Obviously, needed to do what he did on Wednesday. Didn't train with us yesterday, but uh, sure, he's been here a long time now. He knows how we work, so uh, we welcome him back into the group. Uh, a good group. We're all obviously disappointed for for him as a player with the so close to becoming a championship player but I don't think that'll be the last of maybe interest for who is a, a great lad um, and one that we, we support tremendously well and will you know once again come back into our team. Yeah and in terms of dealing with this situation of course you had it I'm sure in the back of your mind right throughout the summer what could happen and you, you must have known what you, you yeah. do. So uh, probably to tell us the the honesty of it, we were yesterday actually in a recruitment meeting for a couple of hours at the training ground, identifying in the process of identifying a replacement, which was obviously nice. To, the fact that we were able to be allowed to do that, um, and we had identified, you know, a couple of potential targets that we wanted to to move on quickly, and then the news came through that the deal was off, and um, <laughs> you took a. You know, <laughs> a wipe to the board, and then uh, put everything on hold, and then just it changes the focus, and uh, you just, just drop your pens, turn the computer off, and crack on. Yeah, because he he is a special player, and we we saw uh, at the back end of last season just what he can do, and I'm sure you're you're quite certain as well. There's there's so much more improvement in there. He's he's really got it. Well, look, we we spoke as a group on uh, Thursday uh, about the uh, the possibility of this. I think he's an inspiration to um, to everybody in the group. He's an inspiration as a young lad coming down from Yorkshire by himself to restart, re-kick, re sorry, restart his career, find a way in. Um, and when you know Sean and I were working with him, you know, I always felt that there was potential in there, and I was unlocking it. And um, he's earned a lot of this himself through honesty and hard work, and he's a great inspiration for any, everybody at our club, um, and, and for all of us connected with Cambridge United. That interest was shown from a championship club for some of our players which is which is great yeah and it's it's one of these moments really isn't it for for George where you can allow this kind of situation to distract you to frustrate you or you can use it to drive you on motivation he's uh, he's a sound guy he's a man he's um, got great morals beliefs he's been brought up brilliantly uh, and he's he's a, he's a great credit to the to the county of Yorkshire if you like because he is that type of guy. He, any kind of adversity, he finds his way through it. He's a tough kid, and um, I think he'll just want to get back on the horse as quickly as possible. And